now it's time for the San Diego Comic-Con recap. Oh. Ooh. Who was there? Raise your hand. But we wish we were. Yeah. And so we found out like everything that happened there, just like all of you did. We found about or found out about it on the internet. The good news is we will be at uh, New York Comic Con in October. We Thank all you. had the opportunity to get press passes for New York Comic Con. We will be in Brooklyn, Teo and I, hanging out and, and enjoying the lovely. He chose to stay at home with his boroughs. family. Mm. My wife has always wanted to go to New York. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait. That's you could. Wait. You've never been. Yeah. Sweet thing. Sorry, Teo. And I can't pleasure. take my wife with us if we go. I was I like, know. yeah, that'd be weird. Horrible. No, I'm glad. Ruin yeah. the whole hey, trip. Thanks for not ruining our trip. So <laughs> we're gonna talk about some of the great news that came out of San Diego Comic Con. Yes. Week, starting with. DC, since it's alphabetically first. But I'm wearing an X-Men shirt. Why are we even... Exactly. Wearing... Okay. Warner Brothers, who is the parent company for the movies of DC, mm -hmm. and I guess they own DC, they put out a couple of trailers. One being for Wonder Woman. Oh, my gosh. That's the hint. I will say this. There it is. I was never a huge Wonder Woman fan. Um, and then he saw her, and he was like, dang. <laughs> that's not... The movie looks that's, great. Uh, yeah, it's directed yeah. by Patty Jenkins. She was supposed to direct the second Thor movie. Okay. And she left because of creative differences. So now she's doing Wonder Woman. I like this. Uh, the other trailer that they posted was for Justice League. <laughs> Wait, Superman's in that photo. I thought he was dead. Superman hey, dead. Hey, hey, you might be asking yourself, wait a second, Batman vs. Superman really gets a sequel after all of that? Come mm. on, guys, that was a great movie. It, um, it's getting a sequel. Yeah, so anyway, we got a Justice League trailer. We did, Huge which surprise. we didn't know we were going to get. Mm -hmm. And uh, we weren't super excited the first time we saw Batman vs. Superman. It got better the second time because we dulled our senses. And to be honest, Ben Affleck is the best Batman since ever. Yeah. So, Michael Keaton. Yeah. And one of the big questions was, how is Ezra Miller going to... Miller going to do as the Flash. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Flash TV series. It is incredible, and we were all really upset when uh, Grant Gustin was not cast as the Flash in the cinematic universe. Zack Snyder did say that he was hoping it would be different. His, he's got a darker, grittier, whatever universe. Um, in fact, Tom Cavanaugh, who's on the Flash television series, he played Ed in the TV show Ed, um, he actually came at Zack Snyder and said that Grant Gustin is an incredible actor, and it takes a good director to be able to mold somebody Ooh. to be in his universe. So, I mean, it was a big controversy. We were all upset. We didn't care about Ezra Miller. And then at San Diego Comic-Con, they premiered a brand new trailer for Justice League. And I will say, I'm eating my words because yeah. Ezra Miller looked incredible as The Flash. Yeah. Look at that suit, man. Mm. Come on. He's so That's shiny. Cool. He's cool. He's very, very cool. Very excited about that. Now, yeah. not to be outdone. Mm. Uh, Marvel slash Disney also had a presentation yes, in did. Hall H, which apparently is the big one. That's the big hall, we're man. We're never going to get to go because we're poor. They premiered a new Doctor Strange trailer. Here's the poster for Doctor Strange. Oh my gosh, look at that man, Benedict Cumberbatch. Not to mention the Inception-like visuals mm. of this movie. It's going to be really cool. They also uh, let us know that Doctor Strange is in fact um, presenting us with a brand new Marvel multiverse. So for nerds like Teo and I, we got excited. Dex is dazed and confused. I, I think it's smart because you can always cast different people in different roles, maybe Tony Stark is getting up there and Robert Downey Jr. and just kind of... Uh, Here's my question. For the average Joe, mm -hmm. who is not into comics, yeah. when I first heard that Doctor Strange was coming out, mm. I was like, wait, who's Doctor Strange? Oh my gosh. It's so be an the majority movie. of people, are they going to be in the same boat yes. as me? This is an origin movie. It's, yeah. not a, it's not a movie where we just we assume that everyone knows who he is. Mm. He's the best doctor in the world. Ooh, or at least he was until he was in a tragic car accident. And he lost control of his finely tuned, crafted hands. And it, uh, it also definitely helps that he's played by Benedict Cumberbatch because my wife has seven posters of him above our bed. How excited would you be It's kind of weird. I constantly have to talk in the Sherlock voice. It's, yeah, that's weird. It's really weird. Yeah. Did you, yeah, have you never seen Sherlock? Yeah, I love Sherlock. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. Yeah. Uh, the Hobbit movies where he played Smaug. He's a great looking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, Benedict we, Cumberbatch is one of the greatest actors in the great. universe. Sure. We wouldn't be the only people that were excited. Marvel yeah. also announced that Academy Award winning actress Brie Larson is mm. going to be Captain Marvel. And she flipped out when she met Benedict Cumberbatch. Beautiful. Fantastic. Gosh. So Brie Larson, who was an Academy Award winner now for her portrayal of in the room. Uh, she was also in one of the greatest films of all time, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. She played the ex-girlfriend Natalie, mm -hmm. as well as the lead singer of Clash at Demon Head. And we were all very excited. And then we thought, wait, it's Brie Larson. And she just won an Academy Award. There's no way she's going to play Captain Marvel huh. in the Marvel Universe. Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel, was like, I don't even know if we're going to get her anymore. And turns out she's just as excited as they were to yeah. play the role. I'm excited. I'm it's gonna excited. be great. I'm excited. Uh, we're all excited. Yeah. And finally, mm. some of the best comic book movie news that came out of Comic Con, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is we finally got some concept art from Spider Man Homecoming. Yes. Look at that. Spider Man is my favorite comic book character of all time. Is that the time. Green Goblin in there? That okay. is the vulture that is not the who is more than Goblin. likely going to be played by Michael Keaton. Now, Michael Keaton is cast in the movie, but they haven't revealed who he is. But let's be honest um, Batman. Birdman, the Vulture. Maybe. Casting. Or maybe he's not the Vulture and he's playing like Norman Osborn. Ooh. Or he's playing J. Jonah Jameson. Either way, you add uh, Michael Keaton to the mix and it's bound to be one of the greatest movies of all time, mm -hmm. a la Beetlejuice. Batman. I believe it's pronounced Mr. Mom. Yeah, don't be Speaks for yeah, yeah. 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 Either way, San Diego Comic Con was incredible. Mm -hmm. Sad we missed it. We weren't able to hang out and do some crazy things. Same. But. Again, in October, if you, if you are in the five boroughs, if you are in the Brooklyn area, we're going to be out there in October hanging out for New York Comic Con, and we can't wait. Uh, we'd love to hang out with you and meet up with you. You can send us your information, standbyforawesomeshow at gmail.com, all you nerds out there, and uh, we promise we'll continue to cover, well, everything. That's right. More next week on Comics Corner. Check out this sweet Magneto tattoo I just got, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs>